Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Paper Mario playthrough. Uh, before we get started, there are a few things I should probably uh, go over before I get started. Uh, first of all, you've probably noticed if you haven't watched the Flipside Pit of 100 Trial videos, I actually have a new pixel, which is the pixel that you get from completing the Flipside Pit of 100 Trials. I'm sure some of you are just watching straight from those videos, but... Just in the case in the future, if like people are watching these in order and uh, they didn't watch the flip side pit of a tri 100 trials, uh, this is the pixel that you get from them. So uh, say hello to Dashiell, he will be uh, with us from now on. Uh, next, I did actually buy some items from, um, oh man, I keep forgetting his name. Uh, no, not Harhol. Um, hold on, hold on, I can find his name. Flim. I, I don't know why I keep forgetting that guy's name. Uh, but yeah, I did buy some items from that guy after I uh, stopped recording. I actually bought another shooting star to make another meteor meal. Uh, there's a reason why I made another one, which I'll be sharing with you guys shortly. I bought a keel mango, which is another ingredient that I can use for a recipe. I'll probably do that later. I bought a catch card SP because he was selling one, so I figured why not. Uh, I also bought a big egg and fresh pasta bunch, which are already in my storage for later. I uh, might need to use them for another recipe later on. And I also bought a Sakura Meow card, which was the uh, giant security robot in uh, Francis's uh, castle. Uh, but anyway, uh, before I get started, let me go to the shop. Uh, first, so I can put away that Keel Mango. I also did a lot of like item storage, too, off-camera. Basically sold any item that I didn't really think worth keeping and uh, You know just to free up some space and stuff of that nature. So I'm gonna put the keel mango in there uh, But the reason another reason why I'm here is I want to showcase The meteor meal and how freaking expensive it is uh, You can get 205 coins if you sell this which honestly I would do right now but since I am actually getting pretty close to uh, 999 coins. I think I'm going to hold on to that just for a little bit because I might get a lot of coins in this next chapter and I have nothing else to buy at the moment. So I think I'm just going to uh, store this meteor meal as well. Um, but yeah, like a uh, lot of good stuff I got and it's all thanks to the flip side pit of 100 trials, honestly. Uh, going through that now was actually very, very worth it. So I'm glad I did that. But, that's not what we're going to be focusing on. We're going to be focusing on moving on with the rest of the game, because, uh... I spent about two hours, probably a bit less than that, just kind of doing side quest stuff. I think it's time we, uh, get back to the main adventure at hand, because, uh, the world's in danger. The world's in grave danger. Look at that freaking void in the background. My god, it's huge. And I think we should probably, probably do something about that. So, oh, hey, what's up, Merlin? Uh, now go, finish your work. Okay, well, I thought he had something else to say, but nope, I guess we're going to move on. Still worried about Tippy's condition, Mario and his friends opened the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts, but the imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. Would Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick would Count Black and his goons come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling with every step. Chapter 5-1 Downtown of Crag Crag, eh? Let's go see what this crag is all about. You love a good crag. You really don't, but whatever. Looks like we're going back to uh, prehistoric times. Oh, we have even little cave people, too. Oh, my, where are we? Quite a nice view from here in midair, but I can yet see the pure heart. But I can't yet see the pure heart. Wait, midair? 
Oh dear. You know, you've got to stop opening the doors in midair. Oh god. Brah. Big rock who watches. Kragnons just little rocks. Kragnons need help. You hook Kragnons up, brah. Or Kragnons go crunch and then no more Kragnons. End of all Kragnons coming. No way. Must Krag on. Save us, Kragnons, brah. Kriggly Kragly crew. Kraga Wagga Doo Goo. Oh, Krag! What? What in Krag? Ouch! Are you alright? Whoa, Skarn. You see person drop out of sky, bruh? Yeah, Jasperoid. Thought I was losing my Krag, bruh. Person shaped weird, huh? Wait, you think maybe person sent down to help by Big Rock who watches? Excuse me, but who are you? Whoa, face kind of weird, but this girl looked good, brah. She come to save Kragnons. Yeah, maybe you right, brah. Big Rock who watches answered call of Kragnons. Pardon me, but what are you gentlemen talking about? Point well cragged, brah. Eek! You stopped that this instant. Oh god, what shenaniganry have we uh, got ourselves caught up with now? Servants of Big Rock who watches, you big boulders, we just gravel bits. Where in the world are we, and what are you things? This is land of Kragnons, me Kragnon, him Kragnon, this land of Kragnons. It not rocket science, brah. Anyway, big brah here is Marbald, chief of all Kragnons. Kragnons? What? Oh, great servants of Big Rock who watches. Kragnons having trouble down here. Serious, bad, big, big danger. Danger? One day, freak plant people name Nerd Kragnon named them Floro Sapiens. They kidnap many Kragnons. We were peaceful bras. They give peace no chance. Rescue team of Kragnons, now need to be rescued. We at end of our crag. How do we save Kragnons? No ideas come to Marbald, and we keep losing Kragnons. This bad, bras. Kragnons must work this out, or Kragnons go ex... Extinct, brah! You prone Floro Sapiens. Er, you prune Floro Sapiens. You save kidnap buds. You hook Kragnons up. <laughs> sure thing, bruh. Yeah? You not cragging my chain? Kragnons owe you big time, bras. We can't ignore folks in need. Please, leave it to us. You rock. Serious. Yeah, serious. No cragging. Big rock who watches set you to Kragnons for sure. T -t Terrible, bruh. King Croacus return. W what? What? Village Kragnons kidnapped. Please, Kragnons need hooking up, brah. Servants of Big Rock who watches. You heard that, right, kind bras? P -p -p please, you help. You hook up Kragnons. Hook up, please. Okay, so I guess we gotta save these, uh, Kragnons, or whatever they're called. Hey, check it out, man. Haven't seen that one before, have we? Yeah, for sure. Must be some sort of rare breed or something, right? Yeah, rare breed. Totally. Sweet timing, too. We need a pure heart polisher. Score! You know of the pure heart? Our super mighty leader, King Croacus, will be stoked to have a rare breed. Let's tenderize it a bit and tote it black, dude. Uh, oh god, they're attacking me. Well, I don't like that. Spoon... Boom, and... Boom. Suck it, you Floro Sapiens. Hmm, seems as though the leader of these uncouth things has the pure heart. We'd best try to find him. Help! I don't even know how that happens, but whatever. I guess we'll have to save them. Floro Sapiens are taking more villagers. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll get them. We'll get those Floro Sapiens. I am going to change back to Mario, though, because we'll have plenty of 3D to flip into. Now, there are also some different, like, points of interest here that I might want to investigate, too. Oh. Okay, well, these guys are... These guys are just scared. Okay, so... Rock like this, we want to go around it. That's good to know. Pay close attention to all hints that you see. No Kragnon's home, brah. Serious. Okay. Oh, we have an item shop. Stupid Floro Sapiens, you're no good. Okay, well, I guess I can't go in there yet. We'll be able to come back later and uh, investigate that further, but for right now, they're not going to let us do much. Also notice this building right here with the small little door. You may have seen a couple of uh, buildings like that in uh, some areas. We'll definitely uh, check those out later once we have the right tools for that job, but as of right now, we're kind of uh, stuck doing, uh, well, stuck not doing that. They're fleeing. I wonder where they're headed. We must follow them. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay. Uh, th that's the flip. That's the, um,. Persia that can send you back to flip side if you get touched by it, so be careful. But I want to go in here, actually. Oh, we have uh, some more of these guys. I could use my catch card on them. The thing is, I mean, they're pretty simple, so it may not really be worth using it on these guys because they have a set HP level so they can't exactly get weaker by um, having a catch card of them but in here we'll get another catch card but this one is of Bowser too which is I believe his wedding attire so yeah we have uh, Peach's wedding attire and I think we have Bowser's wedding attire now so we have both of those cards but yeah, that's why I pretty much came in here, because uh, that was something I wanted to get. And boom. Ooh, Putrid Piranha. These guys can be, uh... Okay, now I gotta wait for him to go back in the pipe. Then I wanna lay that here, and boom. Oh, Kill Mango, wow. I got another one of those. That's absolutely perfect. I definitely love that. Uh, these guys right here, I don't think I want to get a catch card of them because they will have a catch card in these chapters. So I shouldn't try to get them, basically. Also, I could not see that guy on the ground, so those guys are hidden pretty well. Oh my god, another Teal Mango, Jesus. I mean, I, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but like... What did I do to deserve that? Probably, probably it's because I'm finally recording more of this game. Uh, so yeah, this is the first recording I've done in a while. Uh, I've probably said this numerous times in my other videos because um, I've been recording a lot lately, but I actually just got back from a trip and I'm also getting over a cold too, so it's safe to say it's been a while since I've recorded and I'm very very happy to actually be back to recording in fact it may actually sound like I still have kind of a cold still also moon cleft card okay perfect that's the other uh, that's the other uh, card you can get in this level I believe there's two in this level and then there's one in each subsequent level so shouldn't be too hard to get them all uh, just making sure there's no other cards here I don't think there are Okay, I think we're good to move on. I keep thinking I have the gravity from Chapter 4, which I don't, so... So I was, I was looking over those videos again, because those videos were actually pretty good. I enjoyed I enjoyed recording the space chapter, actually. But yeah, like, uh, I was watching those, and like I was like, wow, I can jump really high. It's like, oh wait, that's because I was in the frickin' moon. Or, well, not the moon, but a planet. Outer space, you get what I'm saying. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have blocks. Blocks that don't seem to do anything that I know of. Ooh, hello. Bye. <laughs> I know, that was mean, but like, 
I kind of deserved it. Okay, so... Hmm, I can't really seem to move on. I, don't, I think even if I try to use Peach here, uh, it's going to be too big of a jump for me. So, let me just test it really quick. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and figure something out for the most part. But that's okay. We can figure stuff out. We are going to try to save the Kragnons, after all. We're going to need to have some kind of smarts. Oh, they're actually out here now. Perfect. Kragnons lived here a long time, hunting in peace, but Kragnons end soon. Floro Sapiens will take all Kragnons soon, and then a Yarg! Oh, big rock who watches. Kragnons beg you. Hook up poor, poor Kragnons. I like how they say, like, hook up. Garbage in the river, Krag. Every day into the river, Yag. Toss it and it gone, Krag. What? What is Marl doing? Throwing trash in the river, obviously. Use your Krag. You return trash to nature, brah. Cannot waste garbage. Everyone knows that. I guess, but no. Face look real sad, brah. You not enjoy life? Heh, your secret of life. Find stuff that interests you, then you get your crag on. Stuff of interest all over. Jasper, I tell you about the one to start you up, brah. You see three blocks in a row. You bonk them like this. Left, right, middle. Something of interest really happened then, brah. Jasperoid, Crag, you not. Okay, left, right, middle. I can remember that. But before I do that, let me go back in here. Good day. So in here, this is another item shop, and there are actually some uh, interesting items here, including the primordial fruits, which is a very rare item that you can, I think you can only get in this place. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. If I ever need more, I'll just come back here and get them. But uh, I think I'm also going to store some of these items that I have gotten from this chapter. Although I can't really store much, so I need to keep that in mind. So I'll store another one of these. Uh, this could be helping me to cure poison, so I'll keep that. But I'll store the fire burst, because I'm pretty sure I'll need another one. But there we go. And yeah, I also got points for buying items. I didn't really discuss that, but like in other Paper Mario games, uh, when you buy items, you get points. And uh, after each milestone, a certain milestone is met, you'll get an item for accumulating points, basically. And there are some rare items, and I think there's actually a catch card involved, too. So I will probably be doing that at some point, uh, buying items. But... Keep in mind, I'm going to try to go for all the recipes anyway, which will require me to buy lots of items, so that kind of that kind of goes without saying that at some point I'll accumulate a lot of points to get stuff. Okay, so I believe it was left, right, middle. Ah, thank you, Crag. Those Crags, they're more helpful than you think they would be. Oh no! They're in the background. Oh dear, did you see them over there? I did see them, but uh... I don't know if over there is going to be possible right now. We'll see what we can do though, for sure. Uh-oh. I know it's coming. I definitely know it's coming. Hello. Uh, these guys right here, these guys are called Moots. They have really, really high HP. And I think they actually hurt really hard, too, if they actually touch you. And we have two of them to deal with. Need to be careful, though. Okay. Because they can also give off uh, really rare items, too. They don't seem to be dropping them, though. But killing them is definitely something we should do. They, cause, because they are beefy enemies, quite literally, they will give you a lot of experience as well, so... Definitely recommended to uh, knock them out. I don't, I don't seem to be getting the item that I'm looking for, though, but I kind of expected not to get it, though. Still, though, that was a lot of experience. A lot of experience I'm not going to regret because it's going to put me one step to leveling up. But yeah, notice how we have a block pattern there again. So 
Once again, I'm going to have to go all the way back. All the way back to the other area. Which means, honestly, uh, Dashel could actually be kind of helpful here. Let me just make sure there's no... Okay, we're good. So yeah, this is where Dashel can definitely be helpful. Uh, I believe in the flip side, Pit of 100 Trials, I said something like, he's not really that practical or useful of a partner. And when I said that, I more so meant in just completing the game. He does make some chapters a little faster to get through, and I agree with that, but like, I mean, you don't need him to beat the game. Definitely not. And that's kind of what I was trying to say with that. Let's talk to you again. Still looking bum, bruh? That not face of person getting their crag on. Jasper knows, knows what you need. It puts smile on your face. Crag you not. You hear it? Sure thing. Hey, Jasperoid not tell you for free. But hey, be chill, bro. Jasperoid not want money. Jasperoid just want you to say please real quick. Then Jasperoid tell you. Okay. Uh. Please? Okay. Hmm, Jasperoid not sure that one time is enough, bro. How about one more time? Say please one more time. Oh my god. Just some of the things Intelligence Systems makes you do with uh, these games. It's silly, but like... I think it's fun. Hmm, Jasperoid not feeling it, brah. Maybe you not giving it oomph. You say it three times and put some crag into it, brah. Now, please, three times. Oh my god. Fine. Please. Two more- No! <laughs> this is stupid. I've already said it three times. You're just act asking for it three times, like, consecutively, because you're weird. Knowing me, though, you could probably say, like, whatever you want right here, and it would still count, but, like, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna bother with it. Yeah, nice, brah. Jasperoid can tell you really... Can tell you really want to hear big secret. Jasperoid feeling it, brah. So here, information nug for you. It kind of long, though. You maybe write it down so you not forget. Okay. Yeah, when a game tells you to do this, you may want to do this. So I'm going to write it down. Okay. You got a tool for writing within Crag's Reach? <laughs> yep. You make sure to get this all down, brah. Next time you find three blocks lined up, you bonk like this. Okay. Okay. Middle, right, left. Left, right, middle, right. Left, right, right. <laughs> middle, right, right. Left, middle. Oh my god. Middle, Left, 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 right, left, 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 middle, middle. That it. You write it down, you do it right. Something interesting happened, brah. This has been good time, brah. Have a nice crag. Oh, my God. I gotta say, I don't like that. I really don't like that, because... That's just obsessive, I feel like. It's it's quirky, it's clever, it's such a thing that intelligence systems would do with their frickin' RPGs, but... <laughs> come on, that's like 20 inputs. 20 frickin' inputs. And like, if I like accidentally messed up and wrote something wrong, I'd have to go all the way back and do that again. I don't think I'd have to say please, like, five times, but still. That's just... I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Okay, here we go. Middle. Right. Left. Left. Right. Middle. 
right, left, right, right, middle, right, right, left, middle, middle, left, 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 right, Left, 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 middle, middle. Okay, thank God. I would have been so mad if I messed that up. Like, seriously. Okay, is this even the right way? I feel like it is the right way, but before I do that... There was definitely something on this side. I know it's a long walk, but like... If they're going to actually show this, then there's got to be a reason for going over here, so... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just because. Because I believe there was a pipe over here. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, God. Why did I get that wrong? Why, why did I... There, there should be something over there, though. There should definitely be something over there. I don't know why there isn't. I could have sworn I thought I saw a pipe over there, though. Maybe I was just... Uh, I mean, what can I say? I was mistaken. That's all I can really say. I can't get up there, so... Let me also get Mario back out, just to make sure there's nothing over here. Okay, I think we're good. Anything here I need to know? Stuff written on the wall. Nope, we're good. Okay, that was chapter 5-1. How long did that take? Eh, not as long as I thought it would. <laughs>